Hi, welcome to the latest installment of Big Roy Cooks. So today, what I decided to do was take a recipe that I know, something that I know how to do, and kind of mix it with something that I've always wanted to try. So for those of you that know me and know me from California, I used to cook at uh, a bunch of festivals, actually a couple of festivals, Hawaiian festivals. I was known for my grilled chicken, had long lines, not to brag. Okay, but I wanted to know if I could take my grilled chicken and try to make chicken katsu out of it. Mmm, this should be very interesting. So, what I did was I already marinated some kitchen, marinated some kitchen, marinated some chicken. It's in the fridge. I'll be right back. I marinated some chicken. This has been marinating for about a couple hours in the refrigerator. This is my secret marinade. Okay, some of you may know at least the ingredients. I will tell you the main ingredients are soy sauce, lemon, and sugar. And if you can tell by little bits and pieces, there is green onions and garlic, okay? That much I will let you know of, okay? But these are boneless, skinless thighs, okay? And what I did earlier is, is I took those pieces and I laid them out on a chopping board and then I put a little saran wrap on top. And then just to flatten them out and even out the surfaces, I took a pot because I don't have one of those meat tenderizer hammer deals. So I took a pot and then I started to kind of flatten it out a little bit just to even the cooking surface a little bit more. And then I put it in the marinade. All right. So and we got right here our uh, ingredients for the breading. Okay. So we got some flour, uh, beaten up egg, scrambled up egg, whatever it's called, and some panko crumbs which you can buy at an Asian market or if your supermarket has it, some panko crumbs. Now the first thing we're going to do, we'll dip that in the flour first. Now we're going to dip it in the egg wash. And then from there we're going to dip it in the panko crust. Make sure everything is all coated here. Ta-da! There you are. Okay, both sides coated. So we got about four pieces here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fry these. Now on the directions online, it says um, 350 degrees, the oil temperature. I don't have a meat thermometer. <laughs> okay, so right now I got it on a medium high heat. But if you're cooking for other people, it's kind of very important that you make sure that your meat temperature, your cooking temperature is to the right temperature. <laughs> All right, so. Um, once again, I have it at a medium high heat and we're going to put these into the fire and see what we can get. All right, so let's get the first one in here. One, two, I think I can only fit three in here, so. Oop, oop, work with me. All right, so that's going to be just three and I'll get the fourth one later. All right. So, already, it has browned very quickly. So we're just gonna take it off the heat. Once again, all my cooking demonstrations are trial by error. Okay, so, okay, I'll put this on the cooling rack. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so that was interesting. That's totally fine. They're just a little bit overly brown. That's all right. I'm just gonna let them on the cooling rack. I apologize for the uh, lawn equipment in the background there, okay? But let's see if I can save it. I got one piece left and the oil is not as hot. So we're just gonna put that in there and let's see if we can do this right. The directions online says about five minutes on a medium heat. Now it's very important that you know your stove, okay, the temperatures of your stove. I had it on a medium high when I put the first batch in and it was a little bit overly hot, right? And as you could probably saw, it browned already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna delete this. I'm not gonna do another take. We're just gonna see what this is like. I'm gonna turn this over now. Okay, you like my cooling rack? <laughs> it's actually a roasting rack 
but you know I'm not fancy like that so here they are now they're uh, I would say yes they're a bit overcooked and like I said I'm not gonna delete this I'm, I'm gonna eat it anyway okay we'll just see what the insides are like I'll put a little katsu sauce maybe some rice and uh, we'll give it a taste test hey not too bad once again the outside is a little overcooked but the inside no pink Okay. Oh, I'm close. Okay, so there we are. Once again, a little uh, overcooked, a little, not burnt, but uh, overdone on the uh, on the outside part, the breading, because the oil was too hot. So I sprinkled some uh, some katsu sauce on there. I'm going to take something from the bottom and see. Now, once again, this is uh, from my marinated chicken, so give it a taste. Yeah. I think I got something here, <laughs> okay? So, my marinated chicken, katsu style. I'm gonna do this over again, but I will post this, okay? And I'm going to do another video where I will try to redeem myself and hopefully not overcook the breading, the katsu breading, or the uh, panko breading, I should say, on the chicken. Other than that, I give this a thumbs up. Um, tune in for the redemption episode uh, Big Roy tries chicken katsu with his marinated chicken. Other than that, I'm going to eat this. This is pretty good. Have a good day. We'll see you at the next one.